Hello and welcome to the channel. This is the first of many. Starting the Warhammer journey uh, as we speak. Our years consisted of painting a lot of Tyranids, but today's episode is going to be about this little guy right here. The Stern Guard Veteran. I don't know if that focused for you, but we'll have close-ups of it anyway during the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the main thing. And let's just get straight into it. Let's look at all the steps we took to make this Stern Guard Veteran for our pal for Christmas. So he'll be getting in in just under a month as we're recording this. I think just under a month. So starting it off with the steps we took to make the blue in the ultramarine armor. We found out from his uh, girlfriend that that is the paint scheme he's gone with for his space marines. Just the blue and the white boys. So the Abaddon Black Encanter blue base that we used was a bit redundant with the fact that we have an airbrush beside us. Meaning we could have zen zenital? zenital highlighted the entire model and uh, glazed it or used some contrast paint to get this blue. But instead I went about it the hard way. I ended up making this model take a lot more time than it needed to. <laughs> so you'll see me glazing and trying to work out where the light source is going to be coming from. You can see I, I kind of ignored it towards the end and I, I spent some more time just emphasizing certain parts that I liked because I'm not used to painting Space Marines. Um, if you've seen any of the TikToks, it's literally just been Tyranids for the last year uh, because it's the one and only army I knew leading up to this upload. But most recent mini of the month for us was this Stern Guard veteran that our friend Owen said he wanted. So I suppose it was uh, a learning curve, some might say. After finishing with the Cantor Blue Abaddon Black mix to get uh, an idea of where the highlights were going to be and, and the, the, the main color and where the shadow was going to be, again, you can achieve all this with uh, contrast paints and washes. Uh, we moved on to just Cantor Blue, again, heavily watered down. I'd say about maybe two to one mix, maybe three to one mix in some parts. And we just kind of worked through the blue parts of the blue guy. And then working on from our Cantor Blue, I think we... As far as I remember, I'm not used to using blues because Tyranids are not blue. I vaguely remember using Canter Blue and Temple Guard Blue Mix to give us a little more flair, some may say, with the, the blueiness of him. Again, didn't know how to achieve much blue. It, it was I'm pretty happy with it for a first try. And I am looking forward to looking into more Space Marine tutorials. And then finally, the last part of the blues that we worked on was mostly... Celestial Grey, I think. No, actually, it wasn't Celestial Grey. It was Ben, Ben, Fen, Fenrisian. It's like a bluier grey than the Celestial, I think. Uh, we used that for the edge highlighting. I did do a bit of pre-edge highlighting. I think I was just preparing myself with some of the Temple Guard Blue. I think is the it, I was using the mix of Temple Guard Blue and the Kalidor Sky Blue uh, to, to kind of pre punch those those harsh highlighted parts at the edges of the armor uh, just because i thought it would look cool i think i hadn't tested it on any models so i hope he likes it but that's kind of what i did working towards the edge highlights because when i got to the edge highlights that's when i realized why people complain so much about having to do them it is very difficult having to angle your brush uh, perpendicularly to the edge you are trying to highlight and then on top of that you have to get keep the tip away from touching any of the rest of the model uh, so it's 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 hard there's like a, a fine line of where you should be putting your brush and how you should angle it so there's a lot of me moving this model around to try and get at those angles and then games workshop giving us a free mini in a month but not free stickers to put on it meant i had to freehand the i don't even know what to call it i'm not familiar with it but the Omega thing a majigger with the Roman numerals on the side. So that was a pain in the Bahuki to try and accomplish. But I think we did an okay job and we used some scratches later down the line to uh, make it a little more enveloped in the painting, I suppose. And then for the cape, is it the front cape, the crotch cape, let's call it the crotch cape. For the crotch cape, we used some Balor Brown as a base. Uh, just because it was what I was comfortable with with the Tyranid skin that I had been working on last year uh, and I made the mistake of trying to use the box art for the Stern Guard veteran and I, I just for whatever reason I thought I saw red so when I mixed the red and, and the Balor Brown I think a bit of rape bone in there too to try and get this reddish wash ready uh, when I applied it to the cape it, it turned out uh, way too red and it looked completely different to the box art but 
we stuck with it and we started working up the uh, highlights of the cape with the wraith bone and the ushtabi bone to get a bit brighter and the stuff that's on his belt I, I i just went with whatever brown i could find so you yourself can also use whatever brown you would like and it turns out okay um just making sure to go through each part of the belt uh, i did forget a bit of the belt and i went back over it again it's just under his leg you just keep an eye out on box art or any reference uh paints that painted models that you've seen on people's socials just try and see where things lie because what i assumed was armor was not and it was part of his belt so you know i, I could go on about it on and on and on after doing the brownie bits on his belt we added some what's it called agrax or er urch or agrat uh, the urch the one that everyone likes to use because it's a brownish uh contrast uh, wash thingy uh, it darkens the brown down to a nice leathery brown that i preferred which was good and then using the i think it was a mix of wraith bone maybe a bit of ushtabi in there definitely lots of water um to do the edge highlighting on the bits on his belt which helped you know ex accentuate accentuate the leather with some added scratches in there as you're doing the highlighting you can just muck around throw in some uh, scratches and makes it look like it's worn leather i think that's what i saw anyway my, my brain works a little differently to others i, I hope I, I don't hope don't put me in a psychiatric ward but anyway moving on to the gun we just dry brushed it could have been a bit wet because some of the bits are blobby that my gun job wasn't very uh, good but uh, it did the job uh, in the end uh, just dry brushing some lead lead belcher if i'm pronouncing that correctly uh, onto the black parts of the gun to make it look like worn like the black paint had worn off the gun and shown through the metal on the edges and then adding the silver to the barrel of the end of the gun to make it look a bit more like the box art and then spending some time on the uh, the scope, I definitely spent a bit of time on the scope trying to get that white dot on the top right, then black, then dark red, then orange. As you can see in this part, I didn't even take into consideration that the camera was pointing to it and I completely hid it. I, I would say colors of paint pots, but at that point I was just grabbing whatever was in front of me. And then we added the white to the rim of the shoulder pads and to his mask. Is that disrespectful to say to about a space marine helmet yes his white helmet got whitened with some celestial gray as a base and then i put on some null none null none loyal null none i'll never get that pronunciation right but we threw that over it to try and darken the celestial gray a bit and then we brought it up with some white scar i believe we used for some edge highlighting and just bringing out some more highlights on the border of his shoulder pads and then it was just you know just going around trying to figure out what to do uh going back over that omega symbol on his shoulder joint the shoulder pad yeah i mean his shoulder joint is in there but putting that you know bit of extra effort into that little logo to make it look like we actually did some work just adding some dirt marks to the bottom of his crotch cape we're sticking with that this crotch cape now um catching all the lettery bits i did realize as soon as i finished uh, editing this video together that i did forget the, his holster that he holds his gun in on his hip uh, isn't fully silvered towards the tip uh, and his gun doesn't look like a gun right now it's it's blacked out so that will be fixed before we give it to him god damn i'm not used to straight lines tyranids are an amalgamation of limbs and bumps and armor car carapace sorry uh so this was very different for me with the the straight edges and the the panel lining paneling hello bellacore oh Bella, yeah actually in in shot right now is bellacore and bellacore our cat is named after the 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 big prince himself and we have bellacore here for a future project that will be another video down the line probably coming out in a month and a half or so it's a uh, christmasy winter themed uh, also ignore the white dust marks on my cap that's not anything incriminating We went rock climbing okay relax it's just some climbing chalk uh but yeah winter themed uh bellacore i don't know how you feel about that but it will be happening and ignore the barbie playset uh, bench that i had to purchase on marketplace it will all be explained in the video okay so yeah anyway thanks for watching if you if you did watch and thanks for all the support on tiktok at the moment that's caused me to join this 
side of the internet um, to make the videos and, and the stuff. So I would appreciate a, a like and a subscription, as, as people do say. Um, and share with your pals, because we're going to keep painting, I hope. Thanks for watching, I rambled on quite a bit. I don't know if I explained anything correctly, but I hope you did enjoy. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.